So welcome back to Titanium Man Garage, and today I'm going to do a, a little quick video on carburetors. Um, Chinese carburetor versus the, what would be the Japanese? Uh, you got your Makuni carbs that came factory with uh, your Polaris, and they're very good carbs, but there gets to be a point where you got to make a decision. You're going to spend 300 bucks on a brand new carb, or you're going to buy a rebuild kit and hope it works. Or spend, I don't know, 40 bucks on a, on a Chinese carb. So now, two years ago when I started doing these, uh, I started buying the Chinese carbs and I hated them. Absolutely hated them. I bought three of them in a row and the needle and seat always leaked. So I stopped buying them. And just recently I had a couple subscribers tell me that they actually like the, the aftermarket carbs. So I thought, alright, well I'll give it another shot. I... Uh, found a place on eBay they sell the the carburetor and it comes with a 10-year warranty so I'm like all right well you're gonna back your product up I'll buy it I'll give it a shot so this is the third carb I've bought right now probably within the past three weeks and I tell you I'm I'm loving them I I haven't had an issue with uh, the past two that I bought um, none of them leaked. Uh, I did have to adjust the air um, fuel mixture because one was set a little too rich. So do that. And if you do decide to use it, make sure you use the choke that's inside of here. Because uh, the choke is in there. You screw that out, put it at the end of your choke cable. Now, most guys will say, no, I'd rather clean my carb and... Put a rebuild kit in because that's what came factory. You know, everybody loves the Makuni carbs. And I don't blame them. I, I used to think the same way. And, uh, you know, lucky, uh, once in a while you get lucky, you get a nice one that, you know, the diaphragm in it's good. That still moves. This one's actually pretty decent. Um, this is the one I believe that the jet, jet stripped out and so I couldn't get it out. But once in a while you just kind of got to give up. You say you got a carb that looks like this. It's been sitting for a while. This won't even move. Uh, to me, that's that's junk. Um, you know, unless you own a Sonic cleaner, and you might be able to get this cleaned up. But you know, you gotta ask yourself, what's your time worth? You know, you could spend three, four hours cleaning this carb, and then maybe possibly still having it not run right because if you don't have a sonic cleaner and you just use carb cleaner you're not going to get all the ports clean and it's still going to act kind of funny um, one thing i like about these it's basically a brand new carb all your ports are clean everything's clean it's, it's brand new you know your gas is going to flow through really nice um, so i gave it a second chance and i am actually pretty happy with them um, I thought I'd never say that. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one in the Red Sportsman that I posted a video on a while back ago. I finally got that clutch on. It was a pain in the butt. I ended up having to drill out the bolt because uh, everything I tried broke. Um, but now, as you can see, this carb is really caked up pretty bad. Um, and the guy... Uh, snap the bolt off for the clutch I believe it's sat for I don't know two years I want to say uh, I'm not sure about the backstory on this one so in this case I'm willing to bet that carb is pretty kicked up too I turn the gas on and fuel just dumps right out of this bottom hose an overflow hose and it floods right into the engine I mean could I buy a needle and seat yeah but I don't have a sonic cleaner and I'm not going to even attempt to, to fix that. That was pretty rusty and crusty. So, so I'm not in no way plugging the Chinese carbs. I'm just saying, you know, give it a shot. See what you guys think uh, might be worth your time. Uh, anybody have any input on if they've had any good or bad luck on, on these carbs, these aftermarket carbs? Uh, let me know. I'd like to know. Um, I figured 10-year warranty on this, you know. 
But I'm driving around and a year later, it doesn't work. Which, the old ones, that's the story I was hearing. They were, they were kind of junk after a year. Um, just replace it for free. So, here's my little quick tip of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like always, till next time.